What's going on guys, Golden Reaper here, back at it again for another video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the uh, rumored console upgrades that the rumors came out this week and then 4K gaming because a, a lot of people think that these consoles may support 4K gaming and I'm going to tell you why they won't support 4K gaming and I'm going to also tell you what these uh, console upgrades are really for. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. So just straight out of the gate, the PS4 Neo and the Xbox One Scorpio will not run games at a native resolution of 4K. It just simply is not viable in the current state of the market. I'm pretty sure they'll have upscaling to 4K, but again, upscaling is not the same as native. So in the PC world, you need a high-end rig to run games in 4K, and it's highly unlikely that Sony and Microsoft could produce consoles that can compete with high-end PCs. High-end rigs are big, heavy, and the components of a high-end PC need space and airflow to keep from overheating, and this is especially true when talking about 4K gaming. And then there's the display required to run games in 4K. You'll need a 4K TV or a 4K monitor. And yes, 4K monitors are becoming more affordable, but really, are like, are they worth it? A cheap 4K monitor will cost you about $600, and that's a cheap one. No single graphics card will be able to run 4K Ultra 60 FPS either. The 980 TR, the Titan X, and possibly the upcoming GTX 1080 and 1070 will be the closest single graphics cards that you can buy that'll run games in 4K, but they won't run at a solid 60 FPS, especially on AAA games like The Witcher or GTA. A 1080p monitor creates an image of about 2 million pixels. A 4K monitor displays over 8 million pixels. As a result, a graphics card has to push out four times as many pixels. Even two NVIDIA Titans can't handle refreshing 8 million pixels 60 times a second. That's not even mentioning the fact that some games are far more demanding than others. And when using anti-aliasing, anti a massive amount of VRAM is required. Frame rate will vary depending on the game though, and in my opinion, frame rate is far more important than resolution. And in terms of services that provide 4K video, aside from a, a select few like Netflix, some YouTube videos, and uh, video rentals from Sony's Video Unlimited, not many services offer 4K. And I assume it's because streaming in 4K requires a very high internet speed. Netflix recommends you have at least 25 megabytes per second download. Now, one of the driving factors for Sony introducing a console that's two times the power of their current console is VR. They're releasing the PSVR this October, and rumors suggest that the PS Neo will be coming out around the same time. The PSVR requires a large external processor when used with the current PS4 to maintain a minimum of 90 frames per second. And the same thing goes for Microsoft. Kotaku reported that an upgraded Xbox One, codenamed the Scorpio, will feature a boosted GPU and possible Oculus Rift support in late 2017. This new console is rumored to have six teraflops of performance, and it would make sense because the Oculus Rift needs to maintain a minimum of 120 FPS, meaning it requires more power. I've also noticed quite a few people comparing uh, the GPUs of the upcoming consoles, the current and upcoming NVIDIA cards. And people need to keep in mind that the GPUs and consoles are made by AMD and use AMD architecture. NVIDIA and AMD architecture is vastly different and cannot be compared by teraflops alone. A perfect example of this is the 980Ti and the R9 390X. The 390X has about 6 teraflops of compute performance while the 980Ti has about 5.6, yet in many cases the 980Ti greatly outperforms the 390X and it's considered to be the better card. Now, personally, I think these upgrades will be solely for VR support and to run games at 1080p 60fps on maybe ultra settings. I don't think we'll see consoles go past 1080p this generation and it's a possibility that it'll go past 1080p next generation, but I'm highly, highly skeptical that we'll go to 4K next gen just because of the current state of the market and how expensive a 4K console would be. But yeah, that's all I got for today. Um, like, dislike, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.